execution. So they turn themselves in, get executed, which is why the ending theme is Here's to You, which is about, you know, two people who got executed. So Kojima's team, Konami, they were like, nope, you're not doing that. You're not killing off Snake and Otacon. So let's readjust the ending so that Sonny can magically fucking bullshit everything. And everything's fine, you know? And the Patriot's control is cut off, but everything's fine. And, um, yeah, that's it. And that's probably also when they made the decision to fucking retcon Big Boss into existence. Which, ugh. This game would be instantly 30% better if just that whole thing didn't exist at the end. Anyway, uh, at least, at least they left the ending theme in it. So that people can go like, oh, that's, that's why. And then they re they kind of reused it for, uh, I guess, Chico and Paz in Ground Zeroes. But originally, that's, that's why it's there. Probably one of the many reasons that Kojima felt like he had no creative control over this. Hence the whole um, Alan Smithy thing. And general depression and threats to have his house burned down. <laughs> and other nice things that led to him just for his existence. Yeah, they just didn't let him kill off Snake and Otacon, you know? Two important c characters. You're... going to walk me down the aisle. You're not angry anymore. Oh, I'm still mad. But now... You've got a chance to win me over. You're right. We have plenty of time now. Which game is worse? Four or five? Easily five. Well, you call five, I call V. At least I'm just four with all its depression and characters doing 180s and, you know, failing to, uh... Basically, the look beautiful. Go by their character development and the message of the series. I'm just for is a realization that you cannot pass on the series, and people just don't get it. <laughs> um, apart from that, at least I'm just for is a quality made, professional piece of software. The same cannot be said about V. So for all of its story and lore and Kojima depression related quirks at least m 4 is still a professionally made quality piece of software at least it doesn't feel like you're gonna clip through the map every two steps you take phantom pain on the other hand <laughs> let's, let's not even go there man let's not what a fucking train wreck in every way possible A sad mess. I'm just for story in, in existence is still a disaster, but it made me appreciate the technical expert, expertise behind it a lot more. Holy shit, man. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to join these two in holy matrimony. Let us give thanks for the life they will soon share. And pray they have love. Oh well, no! Nope. Tomorrow is Peace Walker, which means we're gonna get like nobody in here because nobody likes to watch Peace yeah. Walker. <laughs> Let's all send this new team on their first mission. And that's how you know that there is no justice in the world. The Peace Walker is the only on. game besides them just wanted to the guy. Um, real good care and soul and love put into it and it's not the product of the people people not understanding the series Just 
in time. Dripping. And I brought gifts. And just three is a product of people not understanding the series, and just four is a product of people not understanding the series. Ground Zero's Defense of Pain are a product of Kojima wanting to hire Hollywood actors and fucking waste a budget. But Peace Walker is an actual passion project. And it shows. It shows. Anyway, there's probably nothing I can say to make people actually show up for Peace Walker tomorrow. Here. Sad, sad. It's one of those things with actual love and care and soul put into it, people don't appreciate. Remaster Peace Walker? Yeah, about 12 years ago. Peace Walker is my third favorite, only behind them just two and one and Mei Ling's ass. And incidentally, my top three are games that Kojima actually wanted to make. <laughs> I mean, that's not why they are my top three, but it just so happens that way. And just two, and just one, Peace Walker. Where's Snake? The rest is a sad mess. Who knows? That guy always keeps you waiting. <laughs> There's always a one guy asking, what about MGS3? MGS3 is Whatever. number five, maybe number four at best. Let's, let's not get into that now. Why do you guys care so much what my tier list is? I'm just a guy who plays too much Metal Gear. Why would I have informed opinions on this? Jack, how are you feeling? Do you mind if I sit down? That's, I know the irony of it all being, you know, I'm just two is my favorite and I explain I'm just two to people, but the irony of it all is you shouldn't have someone explain I'm just two to you. Yeah. <laughs> it should be your own thing with your own takeaways from it, but oh. Don't shut me out. I need you to listen to me. What do you want? Come to laugh at me. Look. All right. Look at the boy. Here's a tiered list since you guys insist. It's on Twitter. Why not? Cute. Campbell's kid. No. He's yours. I don't have any kids. He's your son. Jack, I must know. 
How big of a robo dick did they give you? I lied. I had a healthy baby boy. Roy pretended to be my husband. To protect me. And our son. Only until you completed your mission. To shield us from Patriot eyes. What? He didn't even tell Meryl. He sacrificed everything. Even his family. To protect us. I don't believe it. I'm sorry, Jack. I wanted to tell you. I had to suck his dick every day, right? Sorry, he's really. <laughs> you don't get it. It was to protect us from Patriot's eyes. John. It had to be believable. Aren't you going to say hello? No, you can't. You can't play her tits here. Little John. <gasps> Scared of me, huh? I don't blame you. It's okay. Uh-uh. I'm not scared. I think you're cool. Kinda like a comic book superhero. Little off, but I appreciate the effort. Rose. We'll play Rising soon enough. A few days. I'm done running. Yeah, we'll do Peace Walker, Grown Zeros, Phantom Pain, and then it's off to spin offs and nonsense. So Rising will be there. No, not Twin Snakes. I will sooner play Survive than Twin Snakes. On my own volition. Fuck that. I am not willingly playing Twin Snakes unless it's April 1st or somebody donates for it. I'll never leave you alone again. That is in, kind of in a category of its own. Yeah, I might do actually a, a few big boss runs and VR missions in between as well. We're just going through a little bit of everything. Except Twin Snakes. Fuck Twin Snakes. I am literally going to play Metal Gear Solid Mobile before I play Twin Snakes. Actually, that's a really good game. People give it shit because it's a mobile game, but it's from a different era. Don't say that. You're no beast. You're my husband. He's talking about you, and Rose. His father. <laughs> and me. I'm going to do my very best to be the wife and mother this family deserves. <laughs> The thing is, Phantom Pain might be a fucking mess, but at least it's fun to show people how much of a mess it is. Twin Snakes is just painful. It's just constant pain. Every pixel of that game makes me rage. Every pixel and every... Every sound bit. It's just constant pain. So no. We're not doing that. Uh, 
you're a real egotistical woman. Hogmaster must be using Internet Explorer or something. <laughs> His bits are always a little late. But hey, thanks for the bits, man. War has changed. Our time has ended. Our war is over. But there's one more thing I must do. punishment I must endure. Erase my genes. Wipe this meme from the face of the earth. This is my final mission. Of all things, May remembers the splooge. <laughs> Imagine that you're trying to kill yourself, and Big Boss comes out of nowhere and starts just splooging everywhere. Uh, but first we have the wedding. Uh, Rebin's drunken rant here. Nothing beats a stiff drink, huh? I didn't know you drank. I thought it was strictly soda for you. Not like I never touched the stuff. Soda just agreed with the nanos better. <laughs> the nano machines break down alcohol before it has a chance to get you drunk. So, that explains it. No need to hold back anymore, huh? Yeah, well, it ain't all sunshine and rainbows. A lot of folks lost their entire sense of being the moment SOP went offline. You mean SOPS? I heard some people are going through withdrawals. SOP syndrome. Yep. SOP kept more than just alcohol under control. Those poor slobs are virtually naked now. From what I hear, over 10% are showing symptoms. I guess getting rid of the Patriots won't solve all our problems overnight. Oh shit, Hugmaster, thank you for the fight against subs, guys, you, enjoy. Uh, probably already suspected this, but I'm not actually an employee of AT Security. Huh? Just free subs from Hugmaster. To be a gun lock. <laughs> Cheers. The Patriots. My early Play like a fiddle. They kidnapped me, forced me to fight. Yep, you're staring at a former child soldier. My parents, brothers and sisters, all killed in the war. Guess that makes me what you call a war orphan. 
After that, the Patriots picked me up and brought me into the family business. I was Drebin, number 893. There's a whole lot of pawns like me all over the world. How do you suppose I laundered guns like I did? Because <laughs> they let me. And another one to two shade. Nice. Thank you. I was under strict orders to back you guys from the start. You what? <sighs> hey, man. Don't take it personal. I wasn't the only one under their orders. Huh? Meryl and... They probably never realized it themselves, but... Rat Patrol Team Zero One. Obviously, Liquid's plot was a threat to the Patriots. So they planned to have you guys take care of me. Didn't turn out quite how they planned, though, did it? Yeah, well, I don't think they expected you to crash their system and wipe them out. So, does that mean you're out of a job now? <laughs> Are you kidding? I got the dread in. All the Drebbins in the world are in on it. From now on, we're in business for ourselves. We are pawns no more. Easy there. The White House might have lost its taste for unilateralism, started to rebuild. But there's a lot of failed states out there that went bankrupt from their PMC habits, and they owe a shitload of money. Now, only question is, who's gonna pick up the tab? I'm sure these new governments will try and keep it under control with PMC corporate reform laws, but it ain't gonna be good enough. They all sunk up to their eyeballs in the war economy. Might not be a new world order, but the old order under the war economy is gone for good. I'm guessing the UN is gonna be more important than ever. What with multilateralism and all. A certain president said it best back during the Cold War. For in the development of this organization rests the only true alternative to war. Then again, the UN itself's just an old 20th century relic. And if you think about it, when you look at its history, it ain't that different from the Patriots. Ah, uh, that's right. The nano machines used to keep you sober. Crush. Mix. Burn. Repeat. Hey, Uncle Hal. Can I give him the Mark III? Huh? He's kinda a new friend. <laughs> he lives near here. We can't understand each other's language, but we're having fun. <laughs> He's my very first outside friend. <laughs> really? That's great. <laughs> Sunny. It's okay if you want to live outside now. It's your life. There are other havens out there. The sun looks so pretty. Um. 
sunny. I like it outside. Uncle Hal? When is Snake coming back? Snake? Is sick. Snake has a severe case of lead poisoning. Trip to help him get better. Acute onset. We're not going with him? To the face. No. He needs to be alone. Some time to rest. Are you crying, Uncle Hal? No. I'm not crying. If only they would have ended it here. I'm always half tempted to just end the fucking stream at this part. And we can pretend that the whole bullshit with Big Boss doesn't exist. <laughs> and now. No. We need to splooge all over the way all over the screen. After all, that's the game's theme. Ah, oh, say man. That makes sense, that's why. Johnny Pixels seems to be confused about Paz's mother base. Oh boy. <laughs> it was just a dream! Big Medic was stripping balls the whole time. Nice plot point, huh? Holy shit, Big Boss was the fury all along. Snake must have been riding the slight release hard for it to lock back without a magazine That's in it. Right. Good. No need for you to go just yet. It's been a long time, Snake. Massive manager, enormous employer. Nah, you guys don't get it. It has to be an alliteration. <laughs> not here to fight. What's the gun for then? I don't know. 
one becomes two, two becomes zero, ten becomes one hundred. And check it out, this guy's name is zero. Haha, ha, I'm gonna kill him now. Okay, bye. What the fuck? <laughs> Let it go, my son. I'm not here to fight. Or should I call you brother? It's over. Time for you to put aside the gun and live. It all began with a bunch of old fools. Away. Their era of folly is over. I'm the only one left, and soon I'll be gone too. How can you still be alive? Nano machines. That body, liquid burned on the Volta, wasn't mine. That was the body. Of a clone. Solidus. And then he starts splooging all over the screen. Splooge? <laughs> he was a perfect clone. Like, come on, who, who did this? Shinkawa? Like, I don't know. Could you pick, like, a different sound effect at least? Like, I don't know. Uh, say, man. Kept in a state of eternal sleep by JD and the proxy AI. They had me sealed away completely. Not only my physical body, but my will too. The technology was similar to what they used to restrain the B&B &B members you encountered. For me to wake again, the system had to be destroyed. One way or another. Ocelot and Eva wanted two things. To bring me back to life. And to end the Patriots. That meant destroying the AI. And killing the man. JD and Zero. Right before you uploaded the virus into GW. The way to JD was opened. But only through the physical manifestation of GW. That's when we finally learned the location of this man, Zero. For me, and for them, for Naomi, nothing was more important. And it was for that that they put their grand scheme into motion. Eva stole my body from them and reconstructed it by replacing the missing parts with pieces from liquid and solid us. Ocelot, in order to fool the system, used nanomachines and psychotherapy to transplant Liquid's personality onto his own. He used hypnotic suggestion to turn himself into Liquid's... So mentality. Eva somehow had Liquid's body as well. We know that he has Solidus' body, but... Technology, okay. Information and genetic control. They've never managed to control people at will. Let, Let alone, alone turn one, one person, person totally, totally into, into another. another. Yeah, that's never been done. No, not with medics or anything. Plastic surgery or pachinko machines. Be made to play a specific role. Act like someone else. Cats do love to play as snakes. It all started with him. They just hooked up Big Medic to a giant pachinko machine. Zero. Zero grew old, and by the end his patriots were being run by a network without shape or form. 
What do you mean, without shape or form? The proxies were only one small part of the vast cycle that Zero created. The corporations, for-profits, and research institutions that comprise the military-industrial complex were part of it, too. They operated on budgets automatically allotted to them by the proxies. Accounts maintained by the Patriots. The network covered everything from weapons, R&D, and investment to production and marketing. It encompassed the people, the companies, even the laws that protect them. Politics and economics became nothing more than iterations of the same oppressively uniform system. I don't think anyone realized that it was all a setup, a mere set of norms. The Patriots were those norms, a neural network reduced to its simplest form. That's what they really represented. Uniformity without individual will, without change. But then one day, those norms suddenly deviated from that pattern and underwent a mutation. It was like the birth of a new life form. The system found a new way to propagate itself. War. The norms the Patriots had crafted for their unified state quickly became dependent on a single business, the war economy. Meanwhile, the political cause of creating a cleaner, safer battlefield provided a convenient catalyst. By then, the system was no longer being steered by Zero's will or anyone else's. It was then that the norms manifested as AIs, the inheritors of Zero's will, began to reproduce and take on a life of their own. Zero's original intent was to carry on the boss's will and establish a unified world state, an inside world. But his successors failed to carry on his will. Eventually, JD became the very age itself propagating its will as it pleased, and this age chose to act through economics instead of nation-states. Powered by the industrial and digital revolutions that came before it, this age gave birth to a twisted economic revolution, a battlefield revolution. It created a new world without substance. In this new world, there were no ideologies, no principles, no ideals, not even the thing she treasured most, loyalty. There was only the war economy. It was a colossal error in judgment, one zero couldn't possibly have foreseen. With the American system in a state of collapse, Patriot society has reverted to a blank slate. This man was the source of it all. And he doesn't even realize it. He's completely unaware of the fact that he led the world to the brink of ruin. Even with so much bad blood between us, it's funny. Now that I'm actually face to face with him again, the hatred is gone. All I feel is a deep sense of longing and pity. Did Zero really hate me? Or did he fear me? Too late to ask him now. The original members, paramedic, Sigint, Eva, Ocelot, they've all passed on. Only Zero is left. 
Everything has its beginning. But it doesn't start at one. It starts long before that. In chaos. The world is born from zero. The moment zero becomes one is the moment the world springs to life. One becomes two. Two becomes ten. Ten becomes one hundred. Taking it all back to one solves nothing. So long as zero remains, one will eventually grow to one hundred again. And so, our goal was to erase Zero. Even the mighty Patriots began with a single man. That one man's desires grew huge, bloated. I think the word you're looking for Absorbed is not consensual. began to manipulate the economy. We realized too late we had created a beast. We had helped turn zero into 100. His sin was ours. And for that reason, I'm taking it upon myself to send zero back to nothing. Let's go. Epic old man life support shutting down action. Or zero. <laughs> He's only, what, 105 years old? This really deserves the epic music for it. Or zero. Victim, victim of the circumstances. Had two people hate for everything out of fucking nowhere. Uh, well. You going back to zero as well? You erased me two times before. Today, mm, two times. Mark the third. The fox die. Zero planted in you. It's already begun. Yeah, I want to see Snake trying to escape Arlington with two dead bodies and a couple guns. Truth is, the fox die in you is what killed Eva and Ocelot. What are you talking about? Hail me. She told me everything. What's wrong? Even though I was in a fucking coma and she's dead, I guess they only recorded another message for Big Boss. Why not? They used you to kill me. Oh, oh, the Patriots know their proxies in order to bury us. They did it again. In the end, they're no more than a program. Oh, all they can do is repeat the same pattern over and over again. Oh, oh. Do me a favor, will you? Take me over to her. There's one more thing 
Naomi wanted me to tell you about the oh, old fox dye in your body. The one that mutated. The new fox dye uh, inside you continues to multiply. At the same time, it is preventing the old mutated fox dye from reproducing. The new fox dye is uprooting the old. Naomi confirmed it in her follow-up. The mutants are receding. Before long, they'll be gone entirely. Does that mean the mutant strain won't cause an epidemic? Oh. It will only live as long as you do. <laughs> but even then, the process will just repeat itself. One day, the new fox die too will start to mutate and become a new threat. That is, if you manage to live that long. Am I going to die? Everyone dies. You can't stop it. You can't run away from it. Let me tell you something. Don't. Don't waste the life you have left fighting. I never thought of you. As a son. But I've always respected you as a soldier and as a man. If you'd been in my place back then, maybe you wouldn't have made the same mistakes that I did. Ever since the day I killed the boss with my own hands, I was already dead. At last, I understand the meaning behind what you did. At last, I understand the truth behind your courage. Oh. <sighs> 
And with me, the last ember of this fruitless war dies out. And at last, those old evils will be gone. Once the source of evil returns to zero, a new one, a new future will be born. I guess he could stack Big Boss's dead body on top of zero and wheel them all both that out. New world <laughs> is yours to live in. To get away, I don't know. Not as a snake, but as a man. Zero and I, liquid and solidus, we all fought a long, bloody war for our liberty. We fought to free ourselves from nations and systems and norms and ages. But no matter how hard we tried, the only liberty we found was on the inside. Trapped within those limits. The boss and I may have chosen different paths, but in the end, we were both trapped inside the same cage. Liberty. Oh! But you, you have been given freedom. Freedom to be outside. You are nobody's tool now. No one's toy. You are no longer a prisoner of fate. You are no longer a seed of war. Oh, it's time for you to see the outside world with your own eyes. Your body and your soul are your own. Forget about us. Live for yourself.
place is good. Isn't it? So Raiden and Rabbit's Monkey have the same motion capture actor. That would explain everything. <laughs> Missouri Crewman Hideo Kojima. Loaded question. Four is the last wave, logically, isn't it? And here's where the people defending Rising will come out and be like, no, Rising is technically the last. <laughs> uh, no, four is the last. Yeah, we'll be playing Rising in a few days. He's going through all the games first. Tomorrow's Peace Walker. I don't know if it's going to take me one or two streams to go through it, because there's quite a bit of stuff in Peace Walker. And then we'll do Grim Zero's Phantom Pain, and then from there we'll start doing all the other stuff that we don't usually do, non-Kojima stuff, so yeah, rising will happen.
I don't know, viewer, if I'm not too busy getting my ass kicked by Rant Terrible, you know, and other things. Also, I might throw in some VR, some big boss runs, and, you know, Metal Gear 1 and 2. Um, well, we'll keep, keep busy in the next few days. Weeks, most likely. Meta, thank you for the four months. Well, you already missed them just one for this, I guess, run of the games, but clearly it's gonna happen again soon enough. We've just been going in order the past few days. It's having the water still there, but I'll, I'll play it again soon enough. Your TTV would take a lot of space, man. <laughs> yeah, wouldn't really do any good for streaming, so. Eh. Which game I had the least amount on? Uh, well, if you consider all the stuff that we don't usually play, that's gotta be one of those. Uh, as for the main games, hard to say. A PSP one? <laughs> Because PSP games don't deserve to be played because they're on PSP right now. No, it's not. It's not Peace Walker. Maybe Poops. I mean, Acid. They played once and a half. It, it's kind of complicated to answer because of all those other extra games that we don't usually do. I definitely have more time in poops than acid. Acid poops. Oh no. That doesn't sound good. And just engage when? You're talking about Metal Gear Solid Mobile. I've streamed that before. I'm gonna stream it again soon. It's actually a pretty good game. Based on air, my favorites are two, one, and Peace Walker. I know you said between one and four, but Peace Walker really needs to be included. People don't give it enough credit or don't think it's a main story game. And it's a shame, really. Because, ooh, it's a PSP game. Look at all the licenses that will mean that this game will never be re-released again. <laughs> look, look at all those fucking licenses. Most mechanically difficult is 2. 3 is the easiest though. 
For me, the difficulty goes two, one, four, three. It's debatable between three and four, which one's the easiest. That's a three. Okay, do who? Who is this guy? What? Snake, wait up. You forgot these. Hmm. No thanks. I'm quitting. Snake. These things will kill you. Where will you go? Our fight is finished. There's nothing left for us to do. No. There's one thing I still have to do. I have to see this age off. See what the future brings. It sounds good to me. I'll go with you. Huh. Otacron. I'm gonna be dead soon. You don't have to come. You said it yourself, Snake. There's nothing inside you can pass on to the next generation. No genes, no memes. You're man-made. You're a beast. I know. A blue rose. There won't be any happy Beauty and the Beast ending for me. What little time I have left will be spent living as a beast. A shadow of the inside. Of the old age. Exactly. That's why you need me. As a witness. A witness? Yeah. Someone on the outside to bear witness to your final days. Someone to pass on your story. Not that I'm the only witness. But I'll remember everything you were. ...and stick with you to the end. Otacon. Besides, you wouldn't let me suffer Sonny's eggs alone, would you? again. Oh. 